we should promote india as a knowledge economy now earlier there was a problem when india became independent there were only around uh, uh, say 10 or 12 percent people who were educated at that point of time female literacy was abysmally at 8 percent only when india had become independent but now we are thinking of making india as a knowledge economy so what is knowledge economy so knowledge economy is characterized by the dominant role of knowledge information and innovation in driving economic growth so although we have not studied but you must be knowing that economic growth is driven by uh, the production of goods and services right now production of goods in uh, the traditional sense of economy the production of goods used to have a dominant role like when industrial development happened in england what it started doing they started producing goods in bulk through the use of machinery and this is how they developed so this is a economic growth which is characterized by manufacturing so if an economic growth happens that is characterized by knowledge information and innovation so this would be known as knowledge economy what are the earlier me mechanism like natural resources if some country has got like uh, these middle east economies these middle east economy are not knowledge economy they are driven by natural resources or manual labor this is china's example like china is china's economy was driven through manufacturing sector and manufacturing sector they are become predominant because they had huge population which acted as a cheap labor source okay so they were when they were developing they were not acting as a knowledge economy whereas if our economy is driven by certain factors for example it this is driven by it professionals who are all mind worker not the labor okay when it is driven by r d work this would be something which would be known as knowledge economy for example it services a skilled workforce education research and development startups so they are not based on natural resource or manual labor which have been the driving factor in traditional sense of economy so india is making an effort you must all already be aware that india recent time the development is happening mostly because of the service sector development so that service sector is usually knowledge driven however there are certain element still in the service sector which is not knowledge driven so that would not be a part of knowledge economy okay for example there are a lot uh, there is one services like education which is driven by knowledge but then there are other services for example there is some barber shop saloon there is whole hospitality sector this is not driven by knowledge this is not like something an application of mind these are also a skill but not a knowledge kind of a skill so this is not a part of knowledge economy okay so usually as the country develops it tries more to increase its share of knowledge economy it's it will never happen that the uh, majority part of any economy is going to be knowledge economy but every economy has its effort because these are the jobs which are higher paying jobs these are the jobs which are given also higher status the people who are engaged in this so if the share of the job is increasing in the economy it shows that the country is developing the country is uh, not merely growing in terms of number but rather the status of living a standard of the people is also increasing so how are we going to increase the share of knowledge economy in our economy the natural answer is the higher education is the catalytic factor if our higher education becomes better our share of knowledge economy is going to be high unfortunately our higher education is not up to the world standard you must have listened the or read the news that none of indian colleges in most of the surveys none of indian university or colleges feature in the top 200 global ranking in fact this was the question which was asked to me in my ups interview that you are from iits none of the iits are in the global top 200 institutions what are the reasons okay so definitely there are a lot of problems with our higher education so let's study what is the issues in higher education in india because these issues are major hurdle in india becoming a knowledge economy our higher education has certain problems like gross enrollment ratio in higher education only 27 percent what is gross enrollment ratio so out of the total population in this age group 
which should be in college how many are admitted in college that is gross enrollment ratio in usa this number is 63 percent so you can see the difference those people who are coming out of the college with 47 percent of graduates in india are not employable in any job and you cannot compare apple with oranges many of the people i see on internet they keep on arguing that even in usa there are people who know very have very less knowledge especially my iit friends uh, they keep on saying this that these UA, usa grads they do not know anything now the problem is that you are comparing the best of indian with the worst of american or rather average americans if you are comparing average american you should compare it with average indian average indian are those people who are coming from probably not even du something below than du and these colleges do not produce any employable graduate okay then there is also a scenario of educated unemployment unemployed in our country unemployment rate for graduate is 15 percent a lot of them are sitting in this class also unemployment rate for people with only primary education is only 3.6 percent so there is a saying in our gown in our village okay what's the utility of a studying so it raises a natural question what's the utility of a education can anyone counter this if someone put it puts this data in front of you and says that you should not get graduated how are you going to counter this say so that to counter unemployability you will have to raise the quality of education in your colleges there is no way out there are a lot of engineering colleges which are only working in one small building you should not have given license to run those colleges ever so these were the problem because of which we are not able to create human capital